I've never found a product in my life like a CMOS. And I started, Jamal gave me this product one day when I came to his store, and it changed my life. It changed my life. Now, you and I have talked on a couple of occasions, but this product changed my life. Jamal gave me this cup to drink the CMOS, and I haven't been the same since. Now, I've been a vegetarian of sorts since 1982. I've been very studious, uh, astute and fastidious about my diet since 1982. But when this brother gave me that CMOS, that was a different thing altogether. I was like going from grade school into college. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, Boom. It did that to me. Totally. I know. Right? So, and, and Jamal is uh, tremendous in explaining all of the phenomenal benefits and, uh, and, and characteristics of CMOS, but there's something still must see about CMOS that I am not sure of because, man, it is, it is phenomenal. What is it about CMOS? CMOS. CMOS scientifically is known as chondroscripsis, and it's supposed to have potassium iodide, potassium phosphate, a large percentage of calcium and magnesium. This is why I could fall on my knees on concrete right now at 78. I don't feel any pain. I was far from a standing position. Seymour strengthened the bones. Seymour strengthened the brain. The brain. Seymour have the power to bind radioactivity. Seymour is powerful. I didn't make Seymour. God did. I just combined Seymour with bladderwrack or Foucault's varicosis, and they make a beautiful combination. How often should I take CMOS? Look, drink it as much as you want, all day, every day if you want to, because the more you drink, the better it is. It's cheaper by the dozen. What does it do for you? It does everything, except it doesn't fire the body up. It, it strengthens the body, but it doesn't fire the body up like iron. You see, iron is the spark plug of the human body. Okay. Iron is the only mineral on the planet that is magnetic. So, being that iron is magnetic, it'll have a tendency to pull other minerals to it. You understand? It pulls magnesium, calcium, phosphorus, zinc, opium, and all the rest, gold. It, iron pulls all those minerals to it. So, it would be safe to say that when you take large doses of iron every day, you are taking all the other minerals on the planet. But they say that if you take large doses of iron and it makes you this, you makes you that, and it's bad for you. I tell you what, they are absolutely right. If you take too much iron, it would even bind you. Yes. It would cause astringency in your intestines. That's correct. But you're not talking about God iron. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, but I had made in this factory somewhere. They are talking about ferrosulfate. Jamal sells you iron fluorine. There is a difference. Amen. Ferros, ferrosulfate is derived from the oxide state of iron. Iron is expressed on two levels on the planet. One in a plant, the other a rock. But when you take the iron ore and you smell it, you make a bridge and you make steel. But you can't put that in the human body. Right. And this is what the drugstores have been selling us. Oh, gosh. What we do is to sell you iron fluorine, not ferrosulfate. There and you can take a, as much of that as you want. Look, I'll tell you what. Uh, you, you could take a bottle a day. <laughs> 